is up? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I will be showing you guys the whole story, the whole process on how I actually changed the concept of my room and the way it looks. Before that, actually, my previous room, before it was renovated, I thought it was really, really cozy and comfortable. But as I look back to it again, I don't really like it anymore. So I thought of actually just changing the whole concept. Right now, I really like it. It's very, very comfortable. And it's not just shown on camera. Like, seriously, guys, I'm not even joking. It is really, really comfortable. So let's just get into the process guys hey guys so right now we are going to a wallpaper store as you guys can tell, my sister is the one recording me because she also wants to get a new wallpaper. So we'll see you there. So this is the shade that I got for my room, like the wallpaper. It's light gray. And as you guys can see, this is the brand today and yes my wallpapers have been placed properly on the walls and it's really really hot I am actually gonna go to Ikea right now because I wanted to get furnitures and there are still a few spaces like empty spaces in my room I thought of actually filling that with furnitures that oh, I wanted no. to get so see you there So I am just gonna do a quick room too for you guys. I will just start off um, from the door because I think it's just the perfect way to start a room tour, right? Hey okay guys, so this is the door. You just open that and go inside. So on the left hand side, there is this wall right here. This is actually my sister's room and this is my room. And this is actually a little frame that my mom got for me, which is so cute. I just thought of actually putting the frame on this wall because it won't look plain. If you guys like enter this part of my room and then you guys can literally see the whole thing, 
That is my room, guys. Okay, so in this section, which is under the air con, as you guys can see, there are two frames over here that I actually made. These are actually Bible verses, if you guys can tell. This is taken from Matthew 6, verse 33, which says, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you. And on this side of the frame is taken from Psalms 23, verse four, which says, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid for you are close beside me. All right, guys, the two frames I got from Ikea and the shelf as well. This is just like a little candle holder and the candle, candles here, just a little plant, uh, which is very unnecessary. And then this is just like a little glass that I got from my church and it's just like a hand praying, as you guys can see. Yeah, it's really cute. So I put them there and that's what it looks like. If you go closer to my bed, there is this really, really cute plant over here which I really, really love. The color is just so pretty. And then I just put them over there. And then here are just really, really cute candles. And then the plant itself, I actually made that. So I didn't buy it anywhere, just the fake plants I did. There is this really, really cute home fragrance that I got from Zara Home. This is actually white jasmine, as you guys can see. And I don't really use it that often because the smell is really, really strong. And then below here are books that I got from Louis Vuitton. These are actually travel guide books. Um, this is Milan. And under Milan is actually Shanghai. And then in here is basically a really cute basket with flowers on it. It's just really cute, guys. I just thought of putting it there. I actually used this and if you guys already saw my, I think my latest video, I actually wore this so it's not useless or something like that, guys. So this carpet is actually from Ikea and here on top of it is my bed. That pillow over there I also got from Ikea and this thing from Ikea. My chair, I don't think it's from Ikea, but yeah, that's my chair. And then beside my bed is actually just a small place for me to chill. I have this really, really cute lamb. It's like orangey. And I actually got that one from Ikea as well. This carpet is very, very soft, as you guys can see. I got these from Ikea. And this is just a laptop holder my laptop. I usually chill and uh, play my laptop here. This thing I actually got from Ikea. And then look at this, guys. This is like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I got this one from Ikea and I got this from... I actually forgot where I got this one from, but it's just really, really cute and that's why I got it. And these ones are from Ikea and that's a cup of tea. So as you guys move forward to this one, this is a really cute frame that I also got from Ikea and it's just like, you know, dried leaves, dried flowers, just to put it over there. And then this part right here is just my Bible, as you guys can see, my holy Bible. And then this is just a basket. I don't really put a lot of things here. I just put some snacks, which is very empty because I already ate them all, but that's okay, guys. This white square thing I actually got from Ikea. And then this is what it looks like, guys. It's really, really cute and comfortable. So here is basically my window. These are my curtains. They're not that pink, guys. They're supposed to look nude, like pink nude, not too bright of a pink. I think it's because of the sunlight. That's why it looks really, really pink. I got these curtains from Ikea as well. This is actually the view that I get from my room. As you guys can see here, this is a mirror in my room. And from this angle, you can actually see my whole room and this is where i put my makeup products these are just eyeshadows mascara eyelash curler lip gloss my powder my beauty blenders and yeah stuff like that pretty boring and on this side is actually my accessories as you guys can see these are necklaces that i got from h&m rings from h&m a small uh, perfume that i got from victoria's secret some bobby pins and these are just my old glasses and then in this part guys is actually a bag where i keep my chargers my uh, camera charger my phone charger laptop charger and on this area is a pretty gross one i know i have to reorganize this part is not that good looking but yeah these are also just perfumes and lotions and powder as well on this side of the drawer as you guys can see is basically a notebook that i have this is my budgeting notebook and this is 
my Chinese Mandarin book where I usually practice every day. This is actually a budgeting notebook for my flower business. If you guys don't know, go check it out. So this is my chair. As you guys can see, it is a movable chair. <laughs> And in this drawer, guys, is actually my stationeries. Here I have a calculator, some pen and pencils, correction tape, and double tapes. Oh my gosh, I actually got this a long time ago. It's One Direction. I used to love these guys. <laughs> On this part is also pretty boring. There's nothing. These are just paper bags. I don't feel like opening it for you guys because I think they're not that good as well. These are just like... Weird things and anyway guys, this is my cupboard basically. I know you guys are wondering why the color is actually blue while the rest is kind of like pink and gray. I actually thought of changing the color to white. It's just that I do not have time to change my cupboard and drawers. So it's just gonna stay like this. On this side, the inside is actually just uh, my watches and this is actually where I put my camera and this is a picture of me and my best friend Natasha my wallet in this section as you guys can see are just a bunch of small bags that I also make use of these are also my filming stuff this is my camera bag on top of it is my vlogging tripod and this is also a vlogging tripod as you guys can see but it's pretty old and it's kind of yeah, it's kind of broken, so I don't really use that anymore. I make use of this one now, which I really, really like. Here are just a bunch of pictures that I took, guys. These are taken on the year 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And here are just a bunch of my friends. And then here is my, um, is actually Halloween. This was 2018. Yeah, I just put them there. It's really cute. This is my small backpacks and here are my hats. I put my hats over here and that's just like my laptop bag, so cool. On this part, guys, it is actually combined together. I put all my past papers here, you know, for college. And these are files that I used to make use of. And this is a notebook that I got from Louis Vuitton. And then this is just a notebook as well that my mom got for me. I think this was from Praha. Yep. And this is my Bible note. This is um, my name on it, obviously. I actually got this from my friend two years or three years ago. It was... Focus. Hey guys, so this is actually just like a um, photo album. I keep all my photos inside. And then on top of it is my school bags. And then just a little fanny pack over here. On top of it um, is just, I don't know, I don't really use them anymore. And then here below is a Victoria's Secret bag that my friend got for me. There is this small, cute Longchamp backpack. And then here are just a bunch of stuff that I also keep. If you guys are wondering what's inside, this was Yule Ball. And this was 2018. So cute. These pictures actually bring back a lot of memories. If you guys don't know, these were actually taken in Seoul, Korea. It was in a clothing store, Style Nanda 3C. This is my sister and this is my best friend Clarissa, but we all call her Tata. This was taken in 2018. Yep. If you guys didn't know, it was my first time traveling together with my sister and also with my friends and also with her sister actually to Korea without any parents. It's just so nice, guys. If you guys are wondering where this aisle leads, it is to my closet. So this section of my drawer is actually where I put my t-shirts, my sweaters, my turtlenecks. If you guys don't know, I make use a lot of turtlenecks, but yeah, these are just bunch of t-shirts that you can find. I know it's pretty messy. I have to reorganize everything. I think it's best if I put everything in just like sweaters and all t-shirts, not like mixed up together. This part over here as well are just denim jackets, sweaters. These are like hoodies, guys, and jackets. And these is where I put my pajamas. So in this part is actually my sweater. I just put them over here and then here are a bunch of pants, um, my sister's clothes, tank tops, um, some bunch of other clothes and this is where I put my gym outfits. Yeah, these are shorts. And then on this part is actually my sister's, my sister's which I'm not allowed to open. And then on this section guys is actually my shells, my scarves that I put. This is like a furry scarf that I got from Zara. And then over here is, these are a bunch of hats that I don't really use anymore, except for this. I still use some of them, 
but these ones, these are really old ones that I don't make use anymore, so yeah. Uh, so on this side of the wall, so that is my room and this is the side of my wall is just this really beautiful frame that my parents got for me. This is the Lord's Prayer, but it's in Bahasa as you guys can tell. And this is just a little light that I use if I want to go to sleep. I just turn this on because you know guys, like sometimes it gets really really dark in the room. So I would usually turn this on just to give it some light. And yeah, these are the lights that are for my closet. Okay guys, so I think that's about everything in my room as you have seen already. And yeah, if you guys are wondering, it took me weeks to change the whole concept, the whole look of my room. I know some of them are not completed yet because due to certain reasons such as, you know, the situation right now, I am not allowed to leave the house and that's why this is all I've got. And anyway guys, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.